Hi everyone, uh, here is an equation I am trying to introduce to the function of learning. This, way, this may be helpful to B. Ed. students or new teachers to remember learning is a function of at least three important variables. So I have made an equation. This is not a equation like a mathematical equation. This is an equation for utility, for helpful that, that might help us to remember about learning. Therefore, this equation in, is in any way not equal to a regular mathematical equation which describes many functions. Since I am not a mathematician, I am trying to introduce uh, L is equal to as a indication of function. I do not know how to write the symbol function. So please excuse me for that and we shall proceed in the next, but next PPT I will explain what they are. Let's look at this equation. L is the left hand side and in the right hand side in the brackets I have given E x n times t n times i y n times. What do I mean by that? L I talk about learning of any subject in any class at any age level and learning happens or learning is a function equals I mean functions here E refers to external factors I have written X N that means it may be N1, N2, N3, N4 etc depends upon the teacher and the selection of the external factors external factors for example indicate conditions in the learning environment which includes a teacher, facilities, the group of children, family background and uh, other conditions even like the child's, uh, uh, the child's way in which he comes to the classroom. All these things include external factors. I need not explain this in many ways because there may be a, a structure of the class which has got very comfortable chairs, maybe a class where there are no chairs, they may be sitting or squatting on the uh, ground. So there are so many conditions which is not, uh, which I am not able to explain in this short time. That is external condition. Tn refers to time taken. In any learning either by the child or by the student or by the teacher's explanation requires a time therefore time is an important thing that also varies. I refers to internal factors of the learner or the child that is why n it may be any number of times if I want to just include the internal factors example internal factors I mean the factors like, for example, the mood of the child, state of learning, age of the child, intelligence of the child, genetics, genetical background of the child, and even the hunger or the food the child has taken. That means all these functions, including the eyesight, the hearing, the hearing capacity, all these things would include internal factors that is, that is related to our eyes, ears and the brain itself. So learning is a function of all these things. Therefore, learning is a very important thing. When I say learning here, 
learning inside the class executed by the teacher by a lesson plan children may learn many things outside the classroom that i am not including here so the learning not normally happens in the classroom with reference to a content a syllab a curricular material so that is measurable we can measure the the learning that happens that happen in a particular time in a particular environment by particular children that is measurable but what happens inside the child's mind cannot be measured by any one of us that means to say where the words the teacher uses has gone and how it is taken how and how what is the form it has taken all these things cannot be measured therefore in other words learning involves spending energy energy of the teacher energy of the child so in the classical physics we say that work done depends upon the energy spent so here the energy and the time both are spent in a particular space and therefore some work has been done and that work i think is has taken place how that work has taken place how the ear and the eyes and the brain has taken that and how it is stored in neurons cannot be seen but that that is explained by many brain scientists and they say the moment the stimuli from the eye and the ear goes to the brain through the nerves to the neurons in the neurons electrons will interfere electrons will change electrons will act will act and then the information is coded how it is coded is not known but it is coded so that means to say the whatever the information we get will be stored in the form of short term memory or in the long term memory so all these things uh, cannot be measured by an ordinary teacher therefore learning is a very complex phenomena so young teachers please remember that learning involves at least three major things you have to take care of it external factors time and internal factors here i have written three important statements is learning a quantum function why i am telling you this is in today's world science is researching on many events and they say most many events are quantum functions for example the smelling seeing and even the flight of the birds migration of birds organic evolution photosynthesis all these things are considered to be quantum function then is learning a quantum function please think it over i hope uh, this small video will make some sense i will repeat again young teachers please remember this equation learning is a function of at least three important variables the variables will be the external factors internal factors and the time spent thank you